And this is the cabin. We're James and Alex. We spent the European summer exploring Italy in a van. We then flew 26 hours during the pandemic back to Australia, went through a tough two week mandatory hotel quarantine, and now we are exploring what New South Wales has to offer in our rental van with Travellers Autobahn. In this video, we will be giving you a tour of the Cougar camper van that we will be living in for the next five weeks. So let's show you inside. And welcome to our home. This is pretty much the setup as it was when we first got the van. But if we're being completely honest, we had the table down and we had it as a flatbed most of the time because we found it more comfortable to work that way. But at least if you want to work like this, you can sit like this, have your laptop and eat. So this is actually a removable table and it makes up part of the bed frame. So although this van isn't particularly huge, we have been so impressed with the storage space. So under both of these rows, there are huge storage spaces. So we actually just took one each. All of my stuff is in here. And then there's a whole huge one at the back as well. And they're pretty big, they fit a lot. Now this is what makes up the other part of the bed. So I think we'll show you that now. Let's make a bed. So table wise, all you've got to do is turn this dial anti-clockwise, and then you can remove this pole, as well as another dial here to remove the tabletop. So what we do is we use the backs of the cushions to act as our mattress. And then I need Alice to help me. <laughs> So I'm just under six foot and it's a good size. So for anyone above six foot, you could probably lay over here and your feet would be okay. And just maybe be over the edge, but we found it okay. I'm actually very comfortable. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. And so at night, we would sit like this. I mean, I am quite small, so I've never had any issues with the sizing of this bed. But it's perfect. We can set our laptops up and watch a movie. As for bedding, Travellers Autobahn give you everything you need. You've got your bed sheets, you've got your pillowcases, pillows, sleeping bags, and we keep everything up there. So although we use this part as storage, it actually does turn into another bed. Now, if you have three people, you can obviously have two people down here and one up here. We have slept up here once. However, we just found it way easier to use as a storage space for our suitcases. And then downstairs was just way more comfortable due to the height. We weren't worried about bumping our heads. <laughs> so you've got these three cushions, which obviously turn out into your mattress. And then underneath, you just pull this out and this turns into the bed. So you know exactly how far it's gonna come out because you can see the stoppers here. So it comes just over the kitchen. And to finish off the bed, what you've got to do is close the blind and bedtime. So at night when you want it to be nice and cozy, these clothes, which makes it nice and dark, like this, and you've got them on both sides. Actually the best thing about this, which you don't get in all vans, is the fact that there's a fly screen. So all you do is open it up there, wind it out, so when we're cooking, we can just have that open and not worry about all the mozzies getting in. Kitchen wise, it's actually very compact and everything you need. So under here, you've got your Dometic 2 gas burner, very easy to use. All you've got is your gas and you've got your igniter and you're good to go. Over here is your sink. It's good size and you've got your tap, which is connected to a 12 volt pump. So as you can see here, and then you stop it. What we tend to do is we've got this little plug here, which we plug in and that way we can do all of our dishes. And then when you want to get rid of the water, pop it up, good to go. Under the sink are where all of our cooking utensils are kept. So we've got all of our cutlery, we've got all of our plates, we've got all of our pots and pans and our kettle. And then beneath that, that's where we keep a lot of our food. So we've got a lot of our dry goods and anything fresh, we just keep in the fridge. Fridge wise, I'm actually not sure the size or liters of this fridge, but for us, we tended to shop every maybe five days and then that was good enough to keep a lot of fresh food. You'll be surprised, you've got a few settings on here that can actually keep it relatively fresh all the time. 
So you can see here you've got a compartment at the bottom, middle and at the top and then on the top right hand corner that's where you want to freeze anything and you've got your little shelf on the door. What's really good is this is a lockable system so you haven't got to worry about the fridge flying open when you're down the motorway. And this is the dial so you've got your settings off one all the way through to five. So when you are driving you can keep it to one but we tended to turn it to about three every time we were plugged in and last but not least we have our microwave so of course you can only use this every time you are plugged into 240 volts so camp spots anywhere where you have power and we use this a handful of times mainly for our jacket potatoes regarding drinking water we get this question a lot we try to refrain from actually using the water from the tap we actually prefer to buy one of these big guys from either Coles or Aldi. You can pick it up pretty cheap. And what's really good is that you can actually refill it. So that way we know exactly where our water's coming from. We haven't got to worry about going through the tank and then through the pipes and then through the tap. We can just take it straight from here. So we are in the Cougar camper van and there is one solar panel on the roof. Now that runs the battery which keeps the 12 volt fridge going and also these handy little things. So when we're in bed at night, can also charge our phone the only time this works is when we're plugged in at a powered campsite and that gives us the 240 volt that also is when the microwave can work and then we can charge things like our laptops and cameras but we have to be plugged in to use that and just under here beside the fridge is your battery and so that is what is being charged by the solar and that is what gives power to the lights the usb sockets as well as the fridge so these are the lights that are powered by the solar panel and if you press it once it goes to like a blue light press it again it just goes bright and off and there is an outside light located just here so you can turn on the light outside and this is the cabin so in terms of the driver's seat it's pretty self-explanatory it drives really easy it handles the motorways really well and all of the side roads as well and it drives pretty much just like a car stereo wise you can set up your phone via bluetooth or also aux cable or usb Everything else, aircon, dials, it's all really easy to reach and we just bought one of these from Kmart where you pop your phone in and pop it on one of these air vents, plugged in our USBs and used it as maps. And this also is the third seat, so if you were travelling with another person you can turn this into a seat, but we use this for the essential storage of Alex's <laughs> peanut cookies and pepita seeds. They are both essential driving snacks. But in honesty though, it is actually very handy for storage for both of us. So if easy to reach items, it's just here. There's also a huge glove box here as well, which is handy to keep your purse. There's a little bit of storage just behind the seats, which we kept some of the road maps, big bottle of water, and this is the sunscreen that you can put on your dashboard. So unlike other vans where you can actually walk from the front cabin to the back cabin, this way you can't. Now some people don't like this, but it gave us a little bit more storage space under here and it wasn't too much of an issue for us to just literally walk out and go through the side door. And if you want a little bit more privacy, you close these and voila. So when you do pick up your car from Traveller's Autobahn, they do recommend to check things like your oil level, coolant levels and other levels that need to be checked on a daily basis. So we've been making a habit to do that. And the engine actually, funny enough, sits under this seat. So, if you're wondering where your hose and your 240 volt cable is kept, just in this back compartment, you can see in here, you've got your hose, your 240 volt cable, dust pad and brush, and a bucket. This is very easy to connect to a tap, and this is extremely easy to connect to a powered site. Things like camp chairs and a camping table are additional accessories you can add at checkout. It was a must for us, because every time we go into a camp spot, to pull up with your camp chairs and a table to enjoy the evening is nothing better. And for us, where we kept them was inside the van, like so. And we pop them away just under here. So there's enough space for two camp chairs and a camping table as well. Winning. So the gas can be found on the outside of the van where it says LP gas storage. And you use one of the keys on the keychain hit the button and here's your gas. All you've got to do is turn this red dial and on this green dial you turn it towards the direction of open which is this way 
And that's it, you have gas. Close that back up, close it, turn the key, and you're good to go. And right beside the LP gas storage, you have the water tank. So in here is where you pop in the water, and then the tank is basically hidden behind here. And on the same side as the gas and the water, you've also got your socket for where you want to plug in to your mains at a camp spot. So we hope that you enjoyed our very quick Cougar van tour. If you do have any additional questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you like us, please hit subscribe. <laughs> See you in the next video. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a Spider-Man does. It's like jailbreak. What we did find quite amusing was, for cooking purposes only, under no circumstances, is this stove to be used for heating the cabin. One thing for sure, do not use this to heat the cabin. It did make us, it did make us giggle because we're just, um, uh, It did make us giggle. Regarding drinking water, we get this question, we get, it could be from, we don't know the source of what we don't know we don't know the quality of the water from where we actually use it from so although you wouldn't think it the storage in this van although it's small it is actually really start again <laughs> <laughs> the camera's wrong does that matter cool so with your bed in travelers autobahn give you everything you need you've got your bed sheets you've got your pillowcases you've got your doodle as for bedding, Traveller's Autobahn give you two sleeping bags, so one. As for bedding, Traveller's sleep, traveler Sleeping Barn. <laughs> traveler's Sleeping Barn. And again, as we said, we tended to just leave everything down here for ease. We used to keep it up there. Done. So at night, you want it to be nice. 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 A fly screen so when we can so when we're cooking and we want to open it up <laughs> these things that lock it at the bottom <laughs> and wind it the right way and the fly screens there so at least you don't get bitten by it mm -hmm. again. Not as easy as you think. How do you do this then? You should just. I think it's that push back like it should be. There yeah. we go. Woo. It's a very easy car to drive. A very easy. It's a very easy car to drive. You've got your steering wheel here. <laughs> there is also a. Also. There's toilet. Paper. There is also a huge drawer spear. Drawer spear. So on a daily basis, it is advised. Is it advised? It's very important to listen to what they say because you are meant to check your engine levels. Every engine levels. That's not even a thing. I'm not going to try and do it now because it is a bit of a faff. But you let. <laughs> so we hope that you enjoyed our quick cougar van tour. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Ooh.